now once the registration has been done successfully now what next we have to do we have to proceed to index.php file where we are going to receive the login page and once we reach here on the login page now you can see that once we are done with login values will be sent to login.php and login authentication will be performed so now what next we'll do we'll proceed to login.php file and now here we can see that the php preprocessor has started so the next lines of code will be parsed with respect to php interpreter first of all we have started a session in order to check the session variables stored in the browser of the user now what next we have did once we are done with identification of the session now we are going to receive the post request which we have received from index.php within this post request we are going to read the parameter with the key user and whatever value has been received that value will be stored into dollar u name so the username will be received from the login panel then we are going to read the post request again and this time we are going to read the pass variable from the post request and within this pass variable we are going to get a value and that value will be stored in p name so this pass variable will keep the value of password which has been sent from index.php now we are using the host information so we are going to connect to mysql database on the local host server so the local host information is specified in the variable dollar host then root is the username of mysql database so using this root we are going to store that username root into dollar user then what we did this is the password for connection to mysql database abcd12345 and we have stored this value into pass variable now the database to which we want to connect to is mining tool and within this mining tool database we have a login table available in which we have all the information about username and passwords so this mining tool database name will be stored in a variable dollar db name now we have created a new connection to mysql improved the extensions using the function mysqli and using this new mysqli we are creating a new instance of connection to mysql database the connection will be created if all these four information are correct which means we are connected to the host then on that host we have supplied the correct username which is root and the password which is abcde12345 and finally the database name mining tool once we have got a successful connection that connection will be stored into dollar con variable so once we have got this dollar con variable now we are preparing a query which we want to execute on the connection so the query is select name from login where name is equal to this and password is equal to this so now what we'll do we are going to select the name column from the login table and in this we are going to test the condition if the name supplied is the username and password supplied is the correct password which has been sent through index.php so if this condition is true and rows are returned with a name variable so then we are going to execute the authentication part so using this connection object we are executing a query using this scope resolution so once the query function has been executed within this query function we are specifying a string query and this string query will be executed and all the variables or the number of rows which have been returned are stored in the result so in the next line of code what we will do we have written an if condition here in this we are going to check if the result has number of rows so number of rows is a variable which is available within result and it has been called using this scope resolution so using this result object we are calling a keyword number of rows which is going to return the number of rows available within the result after execution of this query so if the number of rows returned is greater than 0 then it means we have got some data in the sql query so this means we are going to read the data in order to read the complete data which has been received in the result we are using a while loop using this while loop what we are doing is on this result object we are executing a function fetch associate this fetch associate function will return you a row from the result one by one and until all the rows have been read this while loop will be executing 
So we are going to read one row and we are going to store that row inside the row object. Within this row object, using the column name which we have selected in the select statement will be identified and whatever value within this column for the row is available, we are going to store that value inside the name. So this means if the name and password is specified, then the name and password exists in the database. So if that exists in the database, we are going to say that we are going to store that username inside the session variable and the identifier of the session variable is name. So this name will be the unique identifier of a user on the browser and a true response will be generated. So once true will be generated, it means login has been successfully done and we are going to redirect the user to the next page which is hadoop.php. In case if login is not accurate or authentic, then a false statement will be returned. So now what we'll do, we'll go to index.php file and now we are going to see once we have sent the user and pass parameters that is uname and pname variables to login.php, the request has been sent and a response has been generated. If the response is true, let's say if the response is true, we are going to execute the true code. If the response is false, we are going to return the false code. So now if the response is true, we are going to redirect the user to hadoop.php and in case if the response is inaccurate, then we are going to display login failed and you can try again later. So once we are done with this, now what next we'll do after successful login, we'll proceed to hadoop.php file and this we are going to understand in the next session. Thank you for watching.